Okay guys, so my auto grading video got deleted, so I'm uploading a little bit of a longer video for you guys to check it out. So here I have a pattern that was submitted to me by someone, just a plain dress. And basically I am, um, I have speeded it up. I have speeded it up. I have sped it up. <laughs> I speeded it, it, it up. So you guys, I'm going to use this pattern. I'm going to fit it. I'm going to take you through some of the fit um, problems that I have with this pattern. A lot of people wonder, can you use real life patterns and work with real uh, patterns to achieve a actually fitted garment? But yes, you can. So here's a pattern that I am using and it's imported as a DX. F A A M A and um, that's the one I find that works the best when you're importing patterns um, so I'm gonna try out this auto grading and it took me a little while to figure it out so you have to really like read the directions which I'm doing here in the main menu there's uh, a tool on the 2d pattern that says auto grading you can see it right there um, number two on operation and on the screen it's in the 2d window so I'm gonna sew this up real quick so um, you guys just bear with me one second while I sew this up but the auto grading tool is oh wait did you catch that um, you can highlight all of your patterns and position them where you want and then if you right click on a pattern piece You'll see if you go back and like uh, slow down a little bit, you'll see that I use um, 2D arrangement in the 3D window. And that allows you to see where your pieces are uh, in the same placement as in your 2D window in front of your avatar or close to where you kind of want it to be positioned before you actually sew it or place it onto the body. So you see that I updated the size to a size six. That's the size that I usually work in. And I work in a size six because I think it's uh, easier to grade up or down from the size six. Some people work in size eight or 10. Usually the industry standard is eight or 10, usually 10 for a um, Missy product for juniors or for more contemporary people tend to use the smaller sizes to perfect the fit so here I am um, putting my pattern onto the body with the, the arrangement points um, and bounding volumes so like I said this pattern is symmetrical I've already saved the uh, pieces so that they are mirrored and that they are edited uh, symmetrically What I did not do is uh, symmetrically make my center front, left, and right side. Now you'll notice that I'm not using bounding points for the skirt. It's a flare skirt. And what I've noticed is that if you use bounding points, it causes more collision. And um, we don't want more collision. So I'm going to speed up this, uh, this part here where I sew everything together. And we'll get back to the auto grading part.
Okay, so after all that, I am ready to go ahead and try out this auto grading. Um, the sleeves always creep me out, but there's the tool on the 2D bar, auto grade. You click on that and you want to maintain all, I, I click maintain graphic size because I didn't know not to click it. So that's if you have graphics on there and uh, it won't resize the graphics with the garment. So that's what that's about. Um, Cause you don't necessarily want your graphic to get bigger or smaller unless you are grading your graphic. So now what just happened? I don't know. Well, let's try it again. Yeah. Okay. So back to the tool. You can see all of the shapes without all the numbers. Okay. Go back and read the directions, right? Okay. Three D garment is auto graded, and that's it. Ah, I did not change my avatar. Bloop bloop. That was a blooper. So now let's change the avatar and see what happens. So go to avatar editor and uh, she goes back to her generic size. I'm going to pick another size 18. Oh, 16. Ah, 14. I can't make up my mind. So now I just changed her to size 14 and now she shrunk down to her small height. So I made her the same height as the size 6 and simulate as best I could. Then I want to auto grade it. Maintain graphic size. Yeah, what happened is I wanted to actually check to see uh, what numbers actually change. So you see that waistline is like 14.9. Auto grading, auto grading, auto grading. And bam. So now it graded the pattern. It gave me two additional inches on the front waist, which is maybe about right. However, I need to reposition this garment and re-simulate it. So I'm going to hit simulation. That does not quite work. So now I need to go back, right click. Remember I said right click and go to reset to the arrangement. And then I can kind of move the actual pattern piece around to the arrangement. 3D arrangement will set it back to uh, where the bounding points are. So if I click on 3D arrangement, it will wrap on the body. Yep. So reset 3D and it wraps to where the, the, uh, the points on the body where it was aligned before I draped it in the other size. Okay, so that's not what I wanted to do. And reset 3D, reset 3D. Now I could have highlighted all of the pattern pieces and just clicked reset 3D. Why am I doing it one by one? I don't know. These are just things that happen when you're using Clo. So highlight everything and then click reset to 3D arrangement. Then you can maneuver your pattern around to where you feel like it is needed for the new size. But you remember it auto graded your pattern. It just did not auto drape the pattern. So that's something that I'm going to try next. The uh, auto grade with the auto drape. There is an auto drape function that's been added in 5.1. So there we have it. So now we have the dress that's in the size 14. Did it correct the measurements? Yes. Does it seem like it's grading properly? I don't know. The jury is still out on that. What I'm going to do is get this pattern in a size 14 and then I can compare it. But if you're using a grade rule, you kind of will already know what measurements you're looking for. So now you can just turn on your fit map and you can kind of adjust and kind of see 
if this is the fit that you want. I did not change the sleeves. The cap is horrible. Please do not laugh at my cap. It's not my pattern. I'm only working with this pattern for the video. I will fix this pattern because as you can see, the sleeve cap is driving me crazy. And now in a bigger size, it makes a difference. So of course I have to fix the sleeve, I cannot just say. But if you look at the pattern movements, this is something that I think that they are working on. Um, just changing the pattern movements to be more symmetrical. And uh, once they're more symmetrical, then it makes the auto grading make more sense. Because right now, as a pattern maker, you want things to be evenly graded and moved. So uh, you can see the baseline that's there with the auto grade, it did not move it. It did not move it symmetrically. It looks kind of weird, but that's okay. This is something that is used, you know, if you need help with getting to the right size, maybe you won't go from a size six to a size 14. Maybe you'll go from a size six to an eight. Maybe you'll have to make adjustments before and after. Yes, is it a great tool? Yes, is there more to come? Yes, there is more to come. Now, as I digress with the sleeve, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm ready to uh, do some reverse editing. So now I'm going to change this avatar back to my US ASTM size 6. She's going to shrink down. I'm going to change her height back. And as you can see now, she's got a big dress on. The dress is very loose, loose fitting, but it doesn't, however, look like it changed to be a size 14, but it could be. So it's very loose and baggy on her now. So I'm going to go back down to my 2D window. I want to see if click on auto grading, maintain ratio and see if it reverts back to the same line. Just scientifically experimenting with this thing. And it does not. It actually is about a quarter of an inch different from the beginning. I think the, the waistline before was actually 14.98 something. And now this is 15.182. So it doesn't go back to the exact uh, there is some marginal um, measurement differences. I mean, that's part of, probably about a quarter of an inch. Which a quarter of an inch in a garment, you know that makes a big difference. So here I go back to arrange 3D arrangement so that I can redrape it. Because right now it is not draping after auto grading. So I think you would have to click on uh, redrape the garment. So I'm going to try that in another video. But for this one, we can see that it is not 100%. Some of the measurements are actually off, but this is something that I know they are in uh, the works to fix. So this is auto grading. Oh, but wow, look at the sleeve. Oh, not bad. It's not bad at all. So it just doesn't snap back into the previous pattern uh, lines that could be a problem or not at least you can see the movements so you can kind of judge to where you want it to be from before and after okay so this is auto grade everybody and I think that was a good test feel free to make comments and call outs and those kinds of things okay I hope you enjoy it bye bye